Let's take a moment to look at the carved animals on the totem. Here stood the Indians of Canada Pavilion. This totem pole is the only witness to their presence at Expo. It was restored recently. It is inspired by the traditions of the Quaquutal, a coastal first nation of British Columbia. It is carved from a single trunk of red cedar. You can see six figures, animals and humans. From the top, we see the raven of the sea, the grizzly bear and the salmon, the snake with two heads, the killer whale with a seal in its mouth, the beaver and the old man. Most of the figures are painted in colors typical of the Quaquutal culture, black, red, and green. The emblems of several Quaquutal clans are represented. Retrace your steps and turn right this time on the main road, the Route Verte. You will see a bridge on your left. Cross it. Then continue straight ahead. We'll stop a little further along at the entrance of the former Quebec Pavilion completely transformed today into part of the Montreal Casino Complex. Imagine the canal at the time of Expo. Here, you could see the Quebec Pavilion in front of you, and to the right, the Ontario Pavilion. As you will hear, Quebec's former pavilion remains today an important witness to the rapid modernization of Quebec society during the 60s. It marks the birth of a generation of modern architects. In 67, Quebec was going through a greatly contrasted period of its history. It had a double reality. A Quebec that was still very close to the clergy, to agriculture and to industry. But at the same time, there was an elite those who conceptualized Expo 67, and who wanted very much to emphasize everything that was modern in Quebec. Make sure you are near the footbridge that leads to the Quebec Pavilion. I'll be waiting for you at the railing, close to the water. Basically, the old view, the one conveyed by the French-Canadian tradition, the plowman, the worker, the Catholic, was completely contrasted by the new vision, which talks about a modern country focused on the arts, architecture, design, and we see this vision very well on the site itself, as design is everywhere, in the architecture, in the texts, in the dresses of the hostesses. And this design symbolized how the Quebec elite wanted to portray itself. We have arrived. At Expo 67, the Quebec Pavilion is set offshore. A glass box, floating on the water. It sends a strong message, a modern Quebec separated from Canada. <laughs> <laughs> 